Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling, and welcome to a short, sort of week or two long series that I'm calling a, calling a Beat Back the Grey Tide, and it's going to be a, you know, I think his name is self-explanatory. We're going to be trying to paint the majority of my army that is unpainted. And the army we're starting with is my personal favorite army, lore-wise and in-game, my Alpha Legion, as you can see here. Let's see, get a slightly bigger look at my little recording setup. But uh, as you can see, in here we have three bikers, uh, some Chosen, the Master of Possession, Abaddon, Demon Prince, an Obliterator, ten Terminators, and ten Rubric Marines. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to break these down into sections, and each day I'm going to paint, uh, and, then rec and then obviously paint, record, and then edit that video, upload it to YouTube, and uh, we're going to see if we can get through all of this. Currently, it is 12.45 p.m. on the 14th of August, 2023. So we currently have... <coughs> I'm going to try and be done by uh, August 15th, which should be this Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Or would that be August 18th? Or, wait. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Regardless, I'm going to pick out of this box what we're going to do first, and I think the obvious cho choice here is the ones that are closest to completion. That's going to be our Chosen. See, these guys back here are the ones from uh, Eldritch Omens, was it? You know the box where these Chosen were revealed. Uh, and we also have these ones, which are old tactical marines back before Chosen had their own plastic kit. They're much closer to being done, as you can see, but they aren't quite done. They only have two colors down when we just need to... Uh, Finish up their armor, paint their weapons and such. Alongside that, we're actually also going to use the Master of Possessions, mainly because he seems like a great leader for them uh, in-game. Oh, almost forgot. This guy. So this is all of our Chosen and their leader. And then that leaves the Terminators, the Rubrics, the Warpsmith, Abbey, uh, uh, Demon Prince, and this Alpha Legion Praetor, which I had to ham-fist a little bit to fit to a make... But, uh, you know, we'll throw him in here today, too. I don't see why not. He's, he's pretty small. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing today with these guys. It's uh, pretty, pretty simple. I think that leaves about 30-ish models left that we need to paint. We also have a Venom Crawler, but that's in another box, and I just don't have him pulled out right now. Regardless, uh, when you see me again, these guys that are gray will be cleaned up and primed and uh, based as well. And then we'll just have to get started from there. I'm going to follow my traditional speed painting. If you guys have watched the channel for a while, you certainly remember my first video was actually speed painting Alpha Legion. Which I'm going to use this the same technique on these guys, uh, which actually starts with this uh, lead belcher spray paint. Regardless, I'll see you all in just a few minutes. Hello again. Here you can see me starting out my paint scheme with a, a step I didn't think I'd have to do. But uh, for some reason, my lead belcher spray was acting up. I'm not sure if I got an effective bottle or if I didn't shake it hard enough. But regardless, it wasn't very metallic and was very dark. So I applied a coat or two of lead belcher over the most of the armor on all these models. All for these guys and just the armor that's showing for the uh, Master of Possessions. This is a pretty important step, even though it's technically not a part of my original speed painting, the Alpha Legion guy. Uh, for, I'm not exactly sure if they simply changed the formula, but in reality, my uh, my lead belcher spray was just not up to snuff. Uh, but while I'm painting the lead belcher here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice on how I do my uh, how I'm approaching this and how you should approach conquering your gray tide as well. Um, and. The best thing you can do with most things in life when you're trying to achieve a goal is uh, to break it down into simpler steps. If you can break it down into simpler steps, uh, not only will it seem less intimidating, you can measure your progress a lot better. So for example, for me, I'm painting all of the models in a unit at a time and their leader if they have one accompanying them. So for these chosen, obviously I'm painting all the uh, unpainted models and finishing the half-painted models. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to do the other units. Regardless, the second step was the Mithril Silver, which was to just bring up the shine a lot more. And then I applied Griff Charger Gray, which adds a slight bluish tint to all the metal, as well as helping to find the details. Uh, this is a, a contrast paint that 
Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't use it outside of this. It's just sort of useful for shading their armor as it ties the blue armor plates in with the blue trim quite well. Those are the first three steps. And uh, honestly, this only took me, I'd say, about an hour. An hour, maybe an hour and a half. Overall, painting these guys took about seven hours, which was longer than I expected, but that's because of some unforeseen uh, events that aren't really important. Then I decided I'd paint all their cloth using Screamer Pink, as it is the complementary color to the uh, blue of their armor. Uh, about as close as you can get, at least just out of, straight out of the pot. And it also is just a really nice color in general. So I applied this to all their do dangly crotch flags, as well as the cloak uh, and pimp jacket of the Master of Possessions, as well as this one guy's uh, technically Sons of Horus top knot, but I just like that, so I wanted to include it. And make sure to paint the stuff between their legs. Then I also forgot I, of course, painted the cape on the uh, Alpha Legion Praetor, and then moved on to Achillean Green, which I might run out of in this, uh, in this series, but uh, you're just going to want to apply this in one mo motion over the... Uh, over all the armor panels, and try not to go back over it, as that will ruin the finish. And we want to keep the finish very smooth, as it creates a sort of candy-coated look. Here you can see me moving on to the next step, which was to paint the uh, weapons and things like joints uh, in their armor, using mainly Corvus Black, which is actually one of my new favorite paints they make. It's this very dull, off-black that looks a lot more uh, believable for things like weapon casings, uh, as well as the rubber joints in between all their armor, as you can see here. I also used a thin down variant on some of their straps, just to give it some extra shading on that uh, shiny metal. I also used this uh, in a few other spots aside from their weapons. Uh, obviously their joints, and uh, I didn't use it for their base rims, obviously. I used just normal black for that. Although this color is obviously, I'd say, very, very versatile. It provides uh, smooth coverage and two coats, as you'd expect. And something about it, uh, it reads as black a lot better than just Abaddon Black does. Here you can see I've got all of their weapons painted up. And next is going back to the Metallics, Lead Belcher again, to paint the uh, metal bits of their bolters uh, and pistols and their melee weapons, being uh, the accursed weapons for the Chosen. And the, uh, I actually don't think I used this at all on the Master of Possessions. Uh, well, I could have for a couple details. Again, I'm trying to keep these guys speedy but effective in my painting style. Uh, so I sort of just went through everything. And then the next step was to paint on the leather, which of course I used the speed paint part and leather for. Now since these guys were based metallic, uh, you do have to do two coats of it to knock the metallic sheen down. But again, the hardened leather works great. And then I used Ushabti Bone on all the bone, which on these guys is not a lot. Only a few of the Chosen had it, and then of course the Master of Possessions had it all over his body. I forgot to paint these skulls at this moment, but I did paint them later. Uh, in reality, uh, painting these many models this quickly uh, is more just a test of patience. I think it can, it can become a little annoying, but it honestly feels great. As you can see here, I'm then shading all the bone using Pallid Bone, the speed paint from the uh, Army Painter. And then from here, we're pretty much done with the main armor and armaments of these guys. Uh, the last thing left I did was paint his uh, skull helmet, a very dark black. And then I highlighted it with white and covered it with Gravelord Grey. And then from here, uh, we do the last major step for these guys, which I might come back later and pick up more, aside from basic, of course, was uh, to paint in all of their eye lenses white, uh, just trying to get an even coat near the middle of the eyes, because we're going to be applying uh, Beal Tan Green, which creates that glow effect pretty easily. So I'm going to run and do this to all the models. Some of these chosen helmets are really annoying to do it on, though, if I'm being, like, fully honest. Uh, here you can see me applying that wash. Uh, you want to apply just enough to where it fills in the recesses, but shows a little bit of that white in the middle. It'll be still tinted green, but just make sure you don't overload it, as that kind of mutes out the white we just put in there. However, this is easily my favorite way of doing Space Marine Eyes. It's consistent and easy. It really doesn't take much time at all. I also used this wash on the uh, flames of the Master of Possessions, as I didn't want to do orange. And I also used this on a couple of the weapons, mainly the uh, Power Maul, used by the Chosen Champion, and the Power Sword of one of the Chosen, just to give them some extra color. Here you can see the squad all finished up, and that's the uh, first quarter of the... Uh, 
unpainted Alpha Legion that we need to get done. Minus one guy because I forgot to put him on the spinning plate. Can you believe that? I managed to squeeze all these guys on here and then realized after I was done recording, I missed one. Anyways, my name has been Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check in in the next couple days for the uh, next episode where we're going to be painting up uh, sort of the monsters and bikers that are part of my army. My name has been Spoons Rattling. I'll see you all next time.